Hi guys, Terrence from Neptune Systems here at Reefa Palooza 2016 in New York. And I want to tell you about what's going on with Neptune Systems and our Apex launch. So here we have the new Apex system. It's been seven years since the original Apex came out. We thought 2016 was the year to make the new one come out for you guys, and we added a lot of new features into the Apex. Um, first of all, you notice it looks completely different, which I know is a shock for a lot of people, but we really like the look, and we have a lot of positive feedback out there already. In addition to just being a different color, it's got some additional functions right in the physical part of it, so you can lift up the Apex, plug in all of your cables, easy to get at, and then when you lock it back down, any water that drips on it will go right on down and not get into any of the cable connections. The energy bar itself also has a quick release kind of a mount on it. So you screw in the mount, slide it on, it's much easier than it ever was before. Now one of the biggest additions into the new Apex is that it's now Wi-Fi. So it has both Wi-Fi built into it as well as the traditional wired uh, Ethernet connection if you want to use a wired connection. Uh, it has pH, ORP, temperature, salinity monitoring, 0 to 10 ports, 6 switch in ports, in inputs. It still uses Aquabus, so all of your previous modules and accessories that you might have will work just fine with the new Apex as well. It's completely backward compatible. Um, and it also has an auxiliary power input if you want to add in a battery backup or a UPS system and get notifications that way. So in addition to the Apex, we have a brand new energy bar with the system. That energy bar has power monitoring on each and every outlet. So you can understand if you have a piece of equipment that's not running like it normally should run. Um, for instance, if you have a skimmer that the air input were to get clogged, it would use more power. And you could get an alert as soon as that would happen, or a return pump uh, that might be getting dirty. Uh, all of those things are possible. Also, you can understand the cost that your aquarium uh, is what your aquarium is costing you and adjust the, uh, the different equipment utilization, whether it be your lighting uh, schedule or your heater temperature, and see what the change is or what the cost change might be from one day to the next and fine tune your system. So it's very handy having the power monitoring in each and every one of these outlets. In addition to that, we also have uh, one link built into this energy bar. So you have eight outlets, that's the energy bar eight part. And then the three and the two are 24 volt DC connections. Three of which are one link connections for things like a wave pump. So with the wave pump, you don't need another box or anything. It just plugs directly into the energy bar. No other power supply needed, no other brick, no other clutter under your aquarium. Same thing with the dose. The dose plugs directly in and it doesn't need a power supply. It doesn't even need an Aquabus cable on the dose. You just plug it straight in. There's also two accessory ports. We have a brand new uh, pump over here I'll show you in a second that you can use for an ATO or for your GFO or carbon reactors. That plugs directly in. We have a solenoid valve coming out, lots of other accessories that'll plug into this DC power supply that's built into the energy bar. The Apex system also comes with four probes. It comes with your temperature probe, your pH probe, your ORP probe, and your salinity probe. Um, and new for this Apex system is the pH and the ORP probes are both double junction. Um, so that adds for better, better lifetime uh, on the probes as well as keeps them calibrated and in calibration longer. So that's the Apex system, the brand new Apex system. We'll look at it online over on the computer uh, to show you some of the changes and, and how some of these things I just described actually look when you see it on your phone or your tablet or on the computer. Okay, so here we are with Apex Fusion. Um, first and foremost, nothing has really changed in terms of Apex Fusion, the overall look and feel. Everything is just like it's always been. And it's still the same for all of our Apex Classic users as well. They still have access to Apex Fusion and will going forward. Um, but as far as the new Apex is concerned with Apex Fusion, we've added some interesting things uh, like the power monitoring in, into the interface. So I described it for you over there on the Apex, um, but let me show you how it exactly works. You can see here, we can see for that energy bar we have over there, we're using 122 watts right now, two amps, and, and it's 116 volt in, input on there. Um, if we click on it, you can now see all the devices that are connected to that. You'll see exactly how many watts they're using, how many amps, and also what the cost for the day would be for, to run that device as it's 
you know, as it's using power right now. Um, this is really helpful because if you know what the wattage usage is of any one particular device, uh, you can actually set an alarm, as I said, and with that alarm, you can have it give you a message, say, oh, you know what, your pump, it's running too many watts right now. Something might be wrong. If you click on it again, you'll see those same measurements aligned with the actual physical outlet. So if you kind of forget, you know, which, uh, you know, which thing was put it, plugged into which outlet, you'll see. You click it again, you can get kind of the daily graph of how you're using power. Um, you can even configure things like how much it costs for your power in your particular area so that you can measure that power not just in watts or amps, but what it costs you for your power. Very helpful. We just recently added into Apex Fusion that is available not just for our customers of the new Apex, but all past customers too, is something called Reminders. Already in Apex Fusion, we've had a way for you to log measurements on your manual test kits, as well as put notes in when a fish dies or when something else happens in your aquarium. But now you can add a reminder, let's say, to change your filter socks you know, every three days or to change your, your water every two weeks. You can add a new reminder in. Let's say we want to change the water. We do water change. We can put in some descriptive te te uh, text here. We can say that we want it to be a recurring thing that we want done. And we want to do it every two weeks, starting today, right now. We say OK, and it's automatically going to put those water change uh, reminders in there, into there. And you'll get a little reminder on your dashboard now when you have to do those things. And then now you'll know these are things that, you know, there's many different things you have to do on an aquarium, right? From testing your water to changing the, the, the filter socks. Now you can actually get a reminder built into Fusion. And after you complete that reminder, it creates a note that you did it. So this is very helpful for you along with all the other information that you have to see what's going on in your aquarium. Now another thing that's really important with an aquarium controller in our opinion is the cloud interface is absolutely important. Apex Fusion allows you to have access to your Apex, the new Apex, the, the existing classic Apex as well, anywhere in the world through the Apex Fusion cloud server. But what if your internet goes down? You want to still be able to control your tank. You still want to be able to have your tank doing all the functions that you told it to so you have a local mode on your Apex. Now, in the past, it was called the Classic da uh, Dashboard. It's now Apex Local. Um, and you'll notice it looks very similar to Apex Fusion. That's because we did that because this is the new interface, the new look that we want to have. And that's built into your new Apex. So again, if you don't want to run the cloud, or more importantly, if the cloud goes down, even if it's us, if it happened to happen, or your internet goes down, you have access to that. So it's really, really important to have that feature. There's lots more things that we've put into the new Apex. Lot, uh, there's new commands for keeping your, uh, your pump on and your skimmer to delay your skimmer, a bunch of other things that are out there in the release notes and things will be coming pretty much every week over the next probably six or eight weeks. We're gonna be putting a lot of new stuff out there in Apex Fusion. So I encourage existing customers of Apex Classic as well as our new customers to keep looking for all the new stuff. So one other thing I wanted to mention is What's really cool about Apex Fusion and even the Apex Local Dashboard is it's a responsive web app. We've got a new iOS app that's coming out probably this week as well, but Apex Fusion itself is a responsive web app, which means it's gonna run on any web device. This includes tablets. What this means is, is you don't need to get an expensive display screen that's attached right into your aquarium controller. You can just get any tablet. This happens to be a $50. Amazon Fire Tablet, I actually created a video to show you how to do this, and you get the full Apex dashboard, everything you saw me do on the screen, right in your hand, or Velcro it right to your tank, $50, you can't go wrong. One other thing that we just uh, recently changed is all the mounting uh, boxes, all of the, the module boxes, change the mounting system on them, so that it's the new easy remove mounting system, so you don't have to put the screws in on the outside. We also changed over all the colors to gray, so it falls in line with the new silver gray color scheme that we have for all of the product now. It'll all start to become gray and orange. Um, so just wanted to give you a look at that. So over here we have a brand new pump that we have. It's called the PMUP, which is actually pump spelled backwards. It's kind of a little bit of a joke for us, but it stands for something. It's the Practical Multipurpose Utility Pump. Um, it's a 24 volt pump, uh, brushless pump that plugs directly into any one link. So it can plug into the 832, 
um, into its accessory port, or it can plug into the One Link accessory port if you already have a One Link. For instance, if you bought it with your wave pumps. Um, what's really nice about it is it's vertically oriented. It'll fit in any standard water jerry can, so you can use it for an ATO. It'll do 14 feet of head pressure, so you can actually have your ATO on a different floor and it'll still work. Um, it'll even drive, say, a GFO and carbon reactor, so you can put it on there. Uh, it will come with slip fit, or it'll have available slip fit fitting, so any John Guest fitting will fit on there, three quarter inch, or sorry, three eighths inch fitting will fit on there. Um, it's a great little pump, and I think a lot of people are really going to like being able to have this pump available and put it right on their, on their one links. It's going to be uh, $39.95 for the pump. Really affordable. Okay, guys, thanks for coming by the Neptune Systems booth. Really appreciate Aficionado coming by, Reef of Blues at 2016. Go out and take a look at some of the videos we have out there on the new Apex, and you can find out everything you need to know on our YouTube channel as well. Take care. See you next time.